Heroes to the Founder Talk Show. I'm your host, Major Sunil Shetty. Millennials are taking up social entrepreneurship and they are providing innovative solutions for the well being of our society. One such social innovator who is working towards better health and well being for the mobility impaired people is Shruti Babu. She is the founder and CEO of Dhanvantri Biomedical. The startup is working on innovative products called Sahayata, a smart locomotive device to assist mobility impaired population. Welcome to the show, Shruti. Thank you. Shruti, uh, you know, we, we, we get to host young innovators like you, you know, young entrepreneurs like you. So we would like to start with, you know, uh, understanding what motivated you or what was the you know, thing that was driving you to take up social entrepreneurship and work towards a segment of people usually there are very little solutions very few solutions for them so uh, when i look back to my childhood i always wanted to be an entrepreneur so in my third standard i started selling mangoes because uh, we used to remember like in schooling the grandma used to sit outside selling mangoes. So the entrepreneurship essence started from the very initial age of mine. During my biomedical instrumentation graduation, I thought after graduating, I have to go into the core stream in the medical devices sector, how to become a medical device and an entrepreneur at the same time. So that's how I got to see the medical device economy was really, really nice, where as a pressure, it was very difficult to get a job. And the entrepreneurship means lots of experiences in the core field and then get into the market. That's how they say. So it happened with a small incident where I got to see a 72 years old paraplegic patient. He was sitting in a bed. And as a biomedical engineer, and I was also in a fellowship called SIP, where we go into the hospitals, we, we actually search in need, or uh, the problem statement, what we call. So I was sitting in the corner of a hospital, and I was just observing. I got to see this 72-year-old paraplegic patient who didn't use the toilet. He had two daughters, one on the one side and another side on one. So they struggled to pick him up, place him on the commode, that is uh, the toilet seat. In between, they had to place him on the wheelchair, take him to the toilet, again, take him and place him on the commode, wait until he defecates, cleanse him and bring him back. This is a social issue where during the transfer, he, he can fell into the floor. So later two days, he actually uh, fell into the floor and broke his hip. I thought being a biomedical engineer, why don't they innovate something where the patient can sit in the chair, defecate? Most important part comes here. There is nothing rather than the human assistance or the family assistance who can cleanse the patient's body. So that's how we got a solution uh, in name of Sahayata, which can cleanse the human body maintains the dignity and hygiene. That's how the innovation came into a picture called Sahayata, which can assist the patient. We actually did not know what the social innovation is or the social entrepreneur, entrepreneurship is. We went behind the problem to give the patient a better solution, and which was the societal need. That's how the whole entrepreneurship called the social entrepreneurship came into picture uh, as far to us. Uh, you did a commendable job, uh, not just, you know, taking up social cause, but also, you know, using your skills towards, you know, for the, for the better of the society. Uh, that's really commendable. Uh, so, uh, uh, so what has been the impact? I mean, currently you're working as a company, you have a, a company that produces this equipment, are you just working on designs or prototypes? What stage are you in currently? So we are the complete manufacturers of the product called Sahayata. So initially 2019, this idea came. We started developing prototypes. 
with the support of BIRAC, TBI. So our prototyping stage com got completed in the end of 2019. So there is a series of prototypes, so which got completed by 2020. But unfortunately, we were not able to enter the clinical pilot study, which is the major, what to say, the pipeline of the medical device innovation. So because of the COVID, uh, we were fortunate enough to go and present to different hospitals. But all of a sudden, the world was into the pandemic. It was idle. So we waited, but we, we were working from home. We were not able to serve uh, uh, the patient. Then later on, we thought, uh, because of the family incident, we, uh, major of our family in Dunwantry Biomedical, lost few of their family members in the COVID situation. We thought, why not Sahaipa can help the COVID patients in the COVID scenario? We actually jumped into the COVID hospital and said, this can help the patients in defecation assistance, where there were the scarcity of the nursing staff and the family member was not allowed inside. So that's how Sahaita was able to like help the COVID patient. And fortunately, our pilot study got completed. And now we completed our clinical pilot study and we are in the pilot batch of manufacturing stage. And uh, the most important and interesting part, what we got is, during the clinical pilot study, uh, the COVID got over, but still the clinical pilot study, we took some more days. The participants, as in, not only the users, that is the mobility impaired population, not only the users, the family members of the user, the doctors and the nursing staff, to whom we got an opportunity to interact about the product and also who got the opportunity to use the product and see, they started giving us pre-orders. And that's how we got the pre-orders of 50 numbers in our hands. And our manufacturing process uh, is in, like it's on now. And soon we'll, we are like looking forward to launch our product into the market. Uh, tell us about the manufacturing facility you have and in what stage is it? I mean, can it commercially produce a, a large number of such uh, uh, mobility vehicles if, if needed? Definitely, definitely. So. Uh, we are actually supported by uh, our advisors who are in the manufacturing sector where uh, currently we are a startup. We won't be able to purchase uh, missionaries which in pros and pros to set up a manufacturing unit. So we are uh, giving them a contract manufacturing support. And of course, we are also planning to uh, build up our own manufacturing setup. But I, I know it's going to take a, a bit time, but still things are in process. But uh, we have a capacity to manufacture up to 10,000 number of pieces currently. And how big is the market? Uh, and are you looking to raise fund in the near future? And if yes, what would be the number? Yeah, so uh, currently the global market, which shows uh, 10 million population in India who needs wheelchair assistance, only the wheelchair assistance, I would like to highlight. And in India, 30.8 million are mobility impaired. And in Asia, it shows 18% in 2025, the market trends, which can go up to. And the COVID situation has enormously doubled the uh, market needs in terms of wheelchairs and other assistive aids, which can support the mobility impaired due to the COVID weakness and other uh, kind of uh, disability. So, uh, that is the market segment which we forecast and uh, we have raised funding from uh, BIRAC uh, and DST and uh, from EDII up to uh, 10.7 million so far and we are also expecting to raise fund of another uh, 5 million to set up a manufacturing rupees. unit. You're talking yeah. about rupees. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that is one crore. 1.17 crore in rupees and uh, also we would like to gather more funds for setting up manufacturing plants so the funds what we have raised uh, we were very confident but being into research and getting an innovation into the market was not that simple because we have uh, faced the failure to achieve that defecation cleansing the most innovative part what we call we have failed for past uh, five years we were not able to be successful on that point because 
we used to develop something we used to develop a prototype we used to try it on ourselves on the first basis and we used to give the user friendly or the user comments how does it feel does the defecation assistance or the defecation cleansing what we are developing is satisfying us or not in the team we have a both a male and female ratio so that's how uh, we try out our product and uh, what would be the cost landing cost for a, a user so for the user uh, it it's estimated cost the cost may differ while the time of launching it may rise or fall it's uh, estimated cost of rupees 25999 and uh, what kind of support would be required uh, from government or you know in even in policy matters where like tax benefits or tax breaks which can bring the cost of the you know of these devices lower and thus you know become more affordable for a larger population correct so uh, if government is able to support us in terms of uh, uh, getting us into the scheme where government can pay us 50 percentage the cost can come enormously down where the patients will be very much benefited where they can buy the same product lesser than the cost of wheelchair are there any csr activities or uh, csr that can uh, that is applicable to your industry uh, the, 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 the yes. what you're doing yes definitely but we are looking for the csr opportunities so yeah we are in process of it Uh, and finally my sanu tv is a channel for startups and innovators and entrepreneurs like you uh, where we showcase you know your story uh, where we showcase you know uh, your journey your entrepreneurship your startup uh, what are your thoughts about it it's a wonderful opportunity for us uh, so you are actually bringing us uh, into a life where people can see about us and our product so that the larger sector of the uh, patients so the products can reach out to the patients uh, very very well so uh, thank you so much startup tv for doing this and uh, uh, what what your resource you know byrac uh, uh, is one of your partners who has helped you out how's been how's been your association with byrac and other organizations how have they played uh, you know a role in your uh, you know in meeting your vision and mission so uh, as i said you entrepreneurship was my passion before but i was not given any kind of opportunity during my young days where byrac was the one who came into a picture with a fellowship called sip social innovation and immersion program where they used to take fellows give them financial benefits and also give them grant to develop their ideas into prototypes so i got a support as a sip fellow from the byrac where i uh, i was able to like convert my idea into reality in the first phase uh, with a grant amount of 5 lakh after that they validated my idea mentored me with a set of incubation centers called kitbi who played a important role in this innovation who gave me support how to find the intellectual property how to protect the idea in india and also in other countries so currently we have a uh, protected with an ip of indian patent design patent trademark we have also filed the pct upon the idea uh, covering the concept in other 140 countries we have filed our us patent so the awareness about the patent not only about the patent about the design everything was from byrac and kitbi and after that they gave me a funding support of 50 lakh in 2020 Uh, where i was able to convert that prototype into minimum viable product so the association with the byrac has been a uh, very very wonderful opportunity for me to get into the market i guess that's very nice to hear and thank you very much shruti for joining us and we hope to see you again in in some yeah. of our shows thank you thank you so much